In this video, I will show you how you can convert a string to a float number. Okay, so at first, let's see the string. Suppose our string is like str, this is a variable, and our string is like something like that 45666. It's a long string, for example, this is our, our string. Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll see how we can convert this string to a float number, and then finally, we also see how we can actually format that float number also. So you will see all the details. This will be pretty short and very useful thing for our day to day uh, in your programming life. We generally use this type of concept. So I will show you this thing. So let's get started. So this is a string str. So we define uh, this is a string and there are a couple of numbers inside it. Uh, so we want to convert this in float. So there is a method. It is called float and we can use this thing uh, to convert uh, this string. So if you move your cursor on top of the float, then it will show you that uh, convert a string or number to a floating point number if possible, okay? So if possible, that means if it is possible, okay? Like if you put a string uh, like ABC some letter, okay, it cannot, that's why it is showing that uh, it converts only whenever if possible, okay? Anyway, so this is our string. Suppose some uh, website or some programming or some UI, we get this thing as a string. Now, now we need to convert it as float. So we can uh, define that uh, as a float by easily. So let's define a variable like my float number. My float number, for example, I just uh, take a name like this type of thing. Uh, this is a variable and here we have to use this plot so uh, the rule is very simple and sim sim uh, very simple so we just need to call the method so we have to call the method and inside that method we have to define the string so this is the string so we have to uh, define the string str here the variable name is string so i'm using a string so that's all now uh, by this line i mean uh, this part plot uh, string uh, by this thing and this string is this value of this string we can easily convert uh, this string to float number so let's print it and check whether it is able to uh, really convert uh, that string to float number or not so i'm typing the print uh, method and instead the print method i'm defining my float number uh, this is number right and let's run it we can run by right click and this thing run python file in terminal i'm using visual studio code but you can use any other editor so here, here it is a float right so if you want to check really whether it is really converting float or not we can also uh, use the type command uh, i mean type method so we can use uh, print then we can use type method and inside the type method we can define this my float number so i'm just typing that thing and uh, i put my float, float number and it will type uh, the type of this number right after converting uh, this string so let's run it again and let's check so here we are checking that uh, this is the number and it's showing that float okay so in this way we can easily uh, convert a string to a float number okay so now let's do one thing so now we are seeing uh, this is a long format right so suppose we want to keep like two digit okay after the decimal okay we want to keep only two digits okay so to do that we can easily format this thing so let's do the format so we can uh, create a variable like formatted formatted uh, like float number and then here we can actually use the regular formatter so there is a regular formatter it is called uh, like this way so we have to actually put a not this thing sorry so we have to put a single quote or double quote whatever you wish and then we have to define the curly brace and inside this curly brace we have to define uh, how many string i mean how many point okay so i'm coming that later so let's uh, write the syntax format and here we have to define uh, which i want to format so we want to format this number right so we have to define here my formatted number okay so now here uh, if we uh, try to print out it will give us the same uh, string let's do it uh, let's write a line print then here uh, we can actually use this thing so print it, it will print that number basically okay so this is the actual number right so uh, this is uh, if we try to print this will be the actual number okay let's uh, write this i mean let's uh, print it uh, so i'm going to run this thing and we are seeing this here so let's do one thing uh, we don't need this two lines we can make comment here uh, this is also we don't need I'm just putting comment okay so then uh, our actual output will be clean okay now run it 
so it is showing this is the number right this is the float number okay now we need to format we want to show only these two numbers okay so to show that two number what do you have to use we have to use clone and then dot two number two and then f okay so that means it will show only uh two digits after this decimal okay and now let's run it so i'm going to close this thing so that it will be clean run it and we will see so here it is showing that two digits right five four three six five dot five five oh, sorry three five okay so it is choosing only two num uh, digits so if you want to check more than like uh if you want to check like uh four digits one two three four four digits right it will be like this right so here we have to change instead of two we have to put four and then run it again so i'm going to close this thing so that it will be clean uh, run it and then we are seeing here okay now uh, we can also uh, increase the number of disease after decimal also right so suppose here one two three four five six seven there is seven so we want to make it like ten digits okay after decimal so we can also do that so for that case we have to put instead of here we have to put on 10 okay dot 10 f and what it will do it will actually uh, fill the remaining digits with zero okay so that means here after this it will be zero till it uh, fills like uh, 10 digits okay so let's run it and check so here is the output right so if you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so total 10 digit after decimal so guys that's all in this way you can easily convert a string to a float number and then if you want to format that float number you can also uh, do by using this thing okay but remember one thing uh, here after formatting uh, this number should be a string okay uh, it is not float so if you want to convert it again float you have to use this method again so let me show you that thing so that it will be clear so i'm typing print then uh, i'm typing type uh, this is the formatted text number right so i'm going to copy uh, sorry so i'm going to put that variable after uh, the type i mean this is type method so inside the type method i'm typing formatted uh, float number okay so if you type it you will see that it is a string right a string here it is a string right so let me clean uh, run it again so that it will be clean so it is showing a string so uh, if you format this thing uh, this will not be a float number okay so convert it to convert it uh, you just need to use this float method again okay so that means uh, what you have to do uh, you have to use uh, like this way uh, so suppose here format number right we can uh, type float and then we can make it a method also okay i'm doing shortcut basically because i already showed you how to do this thing that's why i did this thing so now uh, this is the formatted text okay this one this is a string and then we are converting it as a float and finally we are trying to check whether this thing is type or not so let's run it uh, so clean it and then run it and then it will show this is float okay so in this way guys you can easily convert a string to format and if you want to format that formatted uh, float value you can also do uh, this is the same way you can do uh, by following this step so hopefully guys by watching this video uh, you have the good understanding how we can convert a string to a float number and also we can format based on our requirement and thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel see you on the next video